Hey everyone, Julie from Lucid Day here, and today we're going to talk about the often overlooked avatar menu that lives on the bottom left-hand corner of your left-hand nav navigation bar. So here you see my beautiful picture in the bottom left-hand. You may also see your initials if you don't have a photo uploaded, but if you click on that, it's going to open up a menu of options. Many times people overlook this because they either don't know they can click on that or when they open this, they're very scared. There's a lot of options. So we're going to walk through each one very briefly and get you up to speed. We'll start here with my profile in case you do want to see your own beautiful photo in the left hand corner. You can go here to my profile and you can change it here. You can also change your name. If it came in as your email address, please update it to your name so that your teammates when they assign you or they mention you in a post, they can look for your name instead of having to look for your email address. Obviously, there are some other things you can do in here, but we're going to just look very quickly at our notifications. Here, we have another blog post and video post for you to check out to understand more deeply your email notifications, specifically Monday default to have all of these checked when you first um, open your account. You probably don't want that. You'll get inundated with emails if you haven't already, and no one likes that. So going through and che checking or unchecking what you don't want is important. So check out that blog post there. That's your profile. There are other things in there you can check out, but those are the most important pieces. Import data is something that you can do either here or if you're looking to do it elsewhere, you can also do it plus add import data. So if you have Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheet or something else that you're trying to import, those are the two places you can do that. Same with integrations. You can either click integrations here, you get your list of integrations, and when you click here, it'll ask you to assign it to a board, or you can go to the board itself click on the integration center and it will do the same thing, but you'll already be on the board. So either of those options will get you the same outcome. Developers is for those who are developing things. So custom apps, workspaces, integrations. If that's not you, uh, don't worry about this one. If it is you, check out some of the monday.com documentation on that so you can dig deeper into what to do in that space. The recycle bin is a very handy thing to know about. The recycle bin here is a space where anything that's been deleted can be restored. So for 30 days, you get phew, time to come in here and restore something that you or a colleague maybe accidentally or intentionally deleted. So this is the space very important to go. Um, archive is very similar, except it archives only boards and documents and you can restore or view it from that space and there is no expiration date at this time that's very handy just know that if you do archive a board or a document that you cannot pull that into a dashboard because it basically is in like a dormant state and so if you needed to do that you'd want to restore it um, also if you archive an item or a group that lives in another space which is for another video so just know that this is just for boards and documents Admin is the space where you go if you are an admin. You'll know if you are when you click on it. Um, we'll just look at the first few. General allows you to change your account name if you opened up a trial and now you have an account and you don't like the name of your account or you want to change the slug, you can do that in here. You can also change some of the account details. So if you don't want your, your timelines to show weekends, you can hide the weekends, for example. Customization has some nice things. You can upload your logos. You can also um, enable or disable certain things that come with the account. We would definitely recommend if you haven't already or if they're not disabled to disable these two. Um, they will show up in your automations and they're not necessarily helpful. You may find them helpful, but we just find from, for an account-wide decision that it's best to disable these at the start. We also have, um, move myself over here, the boards. This is a place where you can change the names and colors of your default status column. So when someone puts a status column on a board, if you want it to say certain things or be certain colors, then you can do that here. For example, for a very short span of time, we wanted to try something different. So instead of having our done be this color of green, we had our done be this color of green and we moved it up. Um, we have since decided that we prefer the uh, standard, but you can always change that here. Just make sure that it, you put it in the right order and that you then put a actual type type words in here. Otherwise it won't pull it in. So it does need the words in order to know that you do want that um, to pull in. And then user profile, again, this is what you determine um, shows up in the my profile across the account. So if you want a shirt size or favorite candy, then you can put that in here um, so that your team will fill those um, out when they start their account. 
The next place to um, talk about is Teams. So Teams is a great space that a lot of people don't know about where you can actually create a new team and assign people to it. This allows you now to assign teams to items, either to do them or to mention them. For example, at mention the design team is going to mention everyone who is on the design team. Um, this is a really handy feature and it's very easy to navigate through. Obviously log out I'm not going to do or I'd go bye bye so you can be intuitive about that. Let's look on the right hand side here. The Apps Marketplace is a really great space if you're looking to see what more Monday can do. In here, we would recommend you kind of browse by category. Um, you can also browse by feature type, which is very helpful if you're wanting something to, to enhance your board views, an item view, or maybe an integration. You can check that out. Um, there are so many wonderful apps within this marketplace. And it's great because not only can you see whether it's a free or paid app, but you can also purchase right in here. A lot of these apps will uh, be a free trial to start so you can test them out. Um, and for a future post, we'll do some of the most um, useful apps that we find um, so that you don't have to spend as much time navigating through. But if you feel like doing that, it's a good little project. That's your apps marketplace. Obviously, this is going to get you the mobile app on your phone. Monday.labs is a really cool feature. In Monday.labs, you're able to activate certain things that are not activated on all uh, Monday.com accounts. For example, there is a really great new feature. I will deactivate and then activate it so you can see where you can actually now group by a particular column. Now there are some things to note about this. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, but this is one of the examples of things that you can activate on Monday.labs. So if you uh, want to activate it, great, and then deactivate it if you no longer want it anymore. Some that are really worth looking at, that board group buy is really worth checking out. The other ones on here at this point in time to check out would be our collapsed group footers and our board footers. So check those out. Um, they're very great options to test because they may solve a problem that you are having. Um, so check those out when you get a chance in Monday.labs. Anyone can access Monday.labs and it only activates it on your account and you can always deactivate it at any time. So it's sort of a risk-free thing to try. Shortcuts is another very, very handy tool to look at. Um, now, some of you really don't care about this, which is fine. Uh, we would recommend, even if you don't care about this, that you learn the Control or Command B. It allows you to basically do like a last channel on your Monday account. So you can not only search if you just went to something, but you can also type it in and, and get it without having to go through the workspace and type you know, get, find it that way and spend all of those useless minutes trying to search. It's a very quick search way to get uh, to what you need. And there are a lot of other options in here to check out. That's your shortcuts. Um, and these four things here, invite members, obviously that's intuitive. Get help takes you to the help center. Change theme. Um, your, if you have, for example, your computer is set to dark mode, it's going to create dark mode on Monday automatically. So just know this exists. You can change it here if you like dark mode. Um, you can change it to dark mode. If, you per, if it comes in as dark mode and you don't like that, just know you can change it to light mode in that space. And then of course, upgrade your account. Um, those are the items worth checking out in your avatar at the bottom left hand of your left hand navigation bar. We hope this has been very useful for you and that you have some fun exploring and just maximizing your use of the account and your knowledge of the platform. Thanks.